So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing ZoneMinder. And so ZoneMinder is a security program, security camera program, where we can monitor our cameras and then actually record. And the difference with ZoneMinder is it can do motion detection or actually be on all the time. There's lots of different things you can do. And there are actually even some built-in cameras, but for us, we're going to be installing USB cameras because that's what I have. So for that, we have to do a few extra things. And if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, let's get started in installing ZoneMinder. And so first thing we're gonna do is go to Shell in the Box, click on that, click on Web Clients, Advanced, Proceed. We're gonna log in as root and our password, hit enter. And so next we're gonna find our UID and our GID. And so we're just gonna type in ID and then our username. And for me, that's user one. Here you can see the UID is 1000 and the GID is 100. So now we need to write that down. Next, we're going to find our cameras. So we're gonna type in the following. So we're gonna type in sudo apt-get install v4l-utils, hit enter. And I already have that installed, so it didn't do anything for me. But if uh, it asks you if you wanna install it, hit y for yes next we're going to type in v4l2-ctl space dash dash list dash devices and then hit enter and this is going to show us our usb devices and here we can see we have two and so the first is the webcam that's built into the server and this is i'm using a laptop as a server and the second is a usb webcam and so what we need for this, we need two things. So we need the basically addresses of the two webcams. So we're gonna copy this first line here, slash dev slash video zero. And the second one here, slash dev slash video two. And those are what we're gonna be adding into ZoneMinder so we can use our cameras. Once you're done with that, type in exit and then enter and you can close that next we're going to click on docker and we're going to go to the top right corner here where the red box is we're going to type in zone minder so for zone minder we're going to click on the d landon zone minder and you can see that it says it's for unraid but we'll just adjust a few things and we'll work for open media vaults we're going to click starts once that's done, click close. And then we're gonna click on Zone Minder. We're gonna click for the info page. And so basically these are the things that we're gonna worry about. And then to access the GUI, uh, we're gonna use HTTP. So it's gonna be 8080 slash ZM. Uh, but first let's look at the thing here. So our name is going to be Zone Minder. We're gonna put it in bridge mode. It has to be in privileged mode to work. Uh, we're going to have some ports here. 8080 goes to 80. 8443 goes to 8443. 9000 goes to 9000. We're gonna put in our time zone. And so this is how much memory, this is how much memory it's going to use. We're gonna change the PUID to whatever our PUID was and our PGID to whatever our PGID is. We're going to create a config folder and we are going to create a cache folder, but this doesn't really do anything on Open Media Vault because we don't have cache enabled by automatically. And so when we actually do this, we're not gonna put it in a cache folder as it says here, we're just going to put it in our app data folder. So next we're gonna make sure zone miner is highlighted. We're gonna click on run image. We're gonna make the container name zone minder. Restart policy always. We're gonna run in pri privileged mode. 
We're going to leave it in bridge mode. So for ports, we're going to click select. And we're going to change this to 8443. Hit the plus sign. 80 is going to be 8080. Hit the plus sign. And then 9000 is going to be 9000. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to go down to time zone. We're going to click edit. And our PUID and our PGID. So first, we're going to change our time zone to whatever our time zone is. Mine is America, New York. Then hit the check mark. And for my uh, computer, my UID or my PUID was 1000. So we'll change it to that. Hit the check mark. My PGID, PGID was 100. So we'll leave it at that. Hit the check mark. Go down to container path. Hit the slash and hit config. So next we want to create a folder in our app data folder for the zone minder app. So we're going to go to our app data folder, hit new, and we're going to call that zone minder and close that. Then we're going to hit the folder, go to our shared folders, app data, and click on zone minder and OK. Hit the plus sign. And so if we go back to the directions, if you remember, there was a second folder here. And so if we have or if we want to, we can create a data folder for our zone minder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and you can place this folder anywhere uh, on your computer, depending on if you have a cache folder or if you just want to save that data in a different location. And so what we're going to do is create a folder inside of our config folder for that cache. So we're going to double click on zone minder, create a new folder, call that cache and then close that. Go to our shared folders again, app data, zone minder, and there's our cache folder. Click OK. Hit the plus sign. So next we're going to add in some arguments down below here. And so those arguments are going to be two or three different things. So one is to enable USB devices in our container. And the other is the two USB cameras that we saw earlier when we were in shell in the box. So the first thing in it, to enable USB devices, we want to put dash dash device space slash dev slash bus slash USB and then a space. And again, that will enable our USB cameras. Next, we want to put dash dash device equals slash dev slash video zero colon slash dev slash video zero. And that's to enable our first video device, which was our onboard video on the laptop. And then we're going to hit space. And then finally, we're going to add in dash dash device equals slash dev slash video two colon slash dev slash video two. And that's to enable our second video device. And then we're going to click save. And then we're going to give it a few minutes to spool up. And then we're going to go check out ZoneMinder. So next, we're going to copy our IP address, open a new window, paste that there, and then we're going to go colon 8080, whoops, 8080, slash zone minder, and then hit enter. And so the first thing that you come to is a privacy agreement. So next, you need to scroll down to the bottom. And basically, you have to do two things. One is leave it on accept and then go down to the other corner, uh, bottom right corner, and then click apply. Once you've clicked apply, then you're in the zone minder uh, UI. And so there's a couple of different things that you want to do here. So first is we're going to actually change how it looks. So it actually is easier on the eyes. Click on options, then display, and it already changed once here for me. But basically, we're going to go to CSS, and you have your options of base, classic, or dark. And we'll just show you those each one at a time. So the first time you change it, it will change it to the modern theme, like you say, see here. If you click on dark, 
becomes a dark theme. Classic is slightly bigger. And then uh, base is what I like. And then you could click on that. And that seems to be the neatest one. I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it. Next, we're going to go back to console. We're going to click add. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is look through this a little bit. So uh, basically, we have a couple of different things up here. So if you have a open protocol camera, this ONBIF will detect that for you. And there are some preset cameras also available. We don't have any of those. Uh, the probe I did not find worked well for me. Next, if we look down here, we're going to leave these mostly at default. And we're going to change source, source type to local. And function, these are the different ways the cam cameras will work. So monitor, motion detect, record, motion record, and no detect. We're going to put it on monitor right now for this tutorial. And we're going to leave all these alone. And then we're going to go to source. And so after we've changed it to monitor, we need to, if it doesn't populate automatically, put slash dev slash video zero for our first camera. Next, we're going to put capture method, if it's not already there, video for Linux version two. We're going to leave the device channel to zero. For me, my device format is NTSC. If you're in Europe, it will be PAL. Target color space will be 32-bit. And I find for to make the cameras work initially, you should, sh you should change this to color width to 320 and 240. Even though your camera may be able to capture larger than that, I suggest doing this first and then gradually increasing the values to see what works with um, zone minder then once you've done that click save and so there it says the monitor we have the monitor function there's a source it says not running and it will just take a few minutes to actually come up what you can actually do is click on monitor and you can see there it's working i'll wave my hand and so that monitor is working. So let's go back and add a second one. So this one we're going to add monitor 2. And so here it already repopulated with monitor 2 because we already have monitor 1 there. Source type will be local again. If you have some other thing, you would actually put in those here. Again, we leave all these the same. We're going to go to source, and so for us, it's video two. So I'll change that to dev slash video two. Again, we have to change the device format to NTSC for me. And again, we want to change the pixels to 320 width and 240 height. And then we click, click save. And now you can see actually the first monitor is now officially capturing at 10 frames per second. But let's go look at that second monitor. And here I'll move. And there I just waved at the camera. And here we'll see it. You can see me working. And so this is what it looks like. I'm actually looking out the window. And then we can look at the other things here. So again, you can change the options, set up groups of cameras filter things and you can see it's purge when full or update disk space cycles will again show the different things there montage will show our different cameras and you can change the layouts here and if you want to review those in the past go there and then it will show you events to check when you're doing that and so basically that's how you install zone minder you found this video helpful, make sure you like, and if you're new to this channel, make you sure you subscribe to be notified of new videos coming up. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.